Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new related videos every single day. And today's video is going to be a Japan haul. This one is extra special though, because I have secured a partnership with Zen Market, which is my favorite proxy. Any video you've seen from me where I've been buying from Japan, I bought from Zen Market. There's only a few times that I've used other proxies, and I've just never gone back to other ones because I love Zen Market so much. So I kind of jokingly was poking them on Twitter to partner with me, and they did. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to show you guys how I buy stuff from Japan later on in this video, so keep on watching. It's not going to be at the end. I'll put a timestamp in the description if you'd like to just see that. And we're going to go through all of the things that I got today. I'm so excited. I got a lot more dolls than usual this time, and it is because these are all going to get their own videos, and I'm so excited. So let's get in here. Well, not like everything, everything in the package, but most of the things in the package. And I'm just so excited. So if you don't know, um, generally from other countries you can't just buy things like from say just a normal website there and have it shipped to you often they only ship within the country so that's the that's why like a proxy is such a fantastic service because you get everything shipped to one place they consolidate it into a box for you and then ship it to you so you only pay shipping once and things that you aren't able to get a hold of are now possible to get a hold of so that's why i really really like proxies and zen market was the second one i ever found and the only one i've stuck with they're fantastic Alrighty, so let's see what we got this is all i don't even know where to begin i guess we'll start here so i was specifically searching for doll clothing because japanese um dolls have like really really nice clothing and i found these and i think these are some kind of custom doll clothing they, they actually have a tag so it says sugar mag and i think they're like they're released for art dolls and they're not like fully one of a kind but they're not made in super high quantities and i bought this because this is one of the cutest dresses i've ever seen and i really wanted to put it on a rainbow high doll like look how cute this is i loved it and then this lot also came with this one and i paid ten dollars for both of these i think which is really really good it was under 20 for sure and yeah i just fell in love with these i was looking through i think pull-up doll clothing and these came up because they fit pull-up dolls and i was like yeah these are coming home with me they're gorgeous so there's this really pretty orange and cream colored one and then this pretty green one and generally i don't really buy doll clothing separately so i actually went out of my way to do it this time because i wanted to be able to show you guys like all of the different really cool options there are not all of them but a lot of the really cool options that there are for doll clothing on japanese specific dolls and i think that is also what is in this one um yeah so this is a lot of Lika Chan doll clothing specifically, I believe. And Lika Chan is like a, the, the really the most popular doll over there. And she's mostly Playline, but she does have collectible dolls, um, like adult collector style dolls. And I bought this lot because there was one specific thing in it that I was in love with and it was very well priced. So all of this stuff that I'm showing you, except for a few things that I'll let you know, were bought off of Yahoo Japan Auctions, which is basically their equivalent of ebay i do think they have ebay but it's not as good you're going to want to use yahoo japan auctions that's where i get like all of my best deals from um, but they actually have mercari now which is really exciting because the only reason i've ever used another proxy on purpose was because i wanted to use mercari and now zen market supports mercari so i don't need to use other proxies anymore which is great so these are the doll clothing that i got um again i bought this for one specific piece but there's actually several i'm not too big of a fan of this one it has i think it's supposed to be like a little chef's outfit of some sort or maybe like a waiter outfit it's cute but um, and I think there's a Lika Chan tag in here, actually, which is pretty cute. I didn't know they did those. Let's see it. Open it up. Let me see. It says Takara Tomi, so yeah. Alrighty. And then this was what I bought this for. Um, one of the reasons. There's there's like two things now that I see them all. So it's just this really cute little like winter coat. I think it's probably for one of the boy dolls, to be honest with you. But I just thought it was so cute. Like the pattern was really unique and I liked the fluff on it. And I just had like a specific restyle in mind for this. So I bought this a lot. And there's also these socks, which are very cute, like little thigh-high socks. This necklace, which it's not stretchy at all, which is unusual. And the pearls are like slightly blue, which is very interesting. There's some little shoes, little brown shoes. This was the, so this would not have sold me on the lot alone. This was the thing that made me buy the lot um, in conjunction with this. This was the reason I bought it. It's this like really cute sleeveless purple dress in this shape that I don't really see on most fashion dolls from like America. I don't even know what that says because it's in a language I don't know but it's really really cute by the way I do not know Japanese I just really know how to use translators well um so you don't have to know Japanese to shop on Japanese websites and Zen Market actually like fully translates everything that you um like you, you have to search things in Japanese most of the time but it will translate everything for you it's so magical obviously you need to double check to make sure the translations are correct before you commit to buying something but they're actually pretty good um and then these really nice little khaki pants 
very cute and these will fit like most one six scale dolls so i'm really excited and then we have a few things that are presents for my friends they've already seen them though i sent them pictures because they were late um the the presents were late and then um this is a lot of other stuff and then um brett is here staring at me because there's some things for him here so i bought these i paid twenty dollars for this huge lot of really cool pokemon stuff so i got these pokemon scale world figures which if you want to see these let me know and i'll do a youtube short about them after brett builds them because they're for him um but i really have been interested in this line for a while so it's basically i love pokemon sorry i don't really talk about it much on my channel but they do like within the scale like the true scale in the video games and in the pokedex they'll make like pokemon figures and there's a ton of them and i think they're so so cool and i managed to get a bunch of them for a good price the generation three and the generation four ones and brett really likes generation four and i really like generation three so it's kind of the perfect lot and as you can see i got a ton of them this is one of my favorite things about yahoo japan shopping on yahoo japan specifically is you can find lots like this that are labeled as junk items which basically i think what that means in their terms that they're trying to convey is like no refunds you're buying it as is i think that's why they call it junk that's at least my understanding junk is just what it's translating to um and you can get a ton of really cool stuff from like thrift store type sources for it ridiculously cheap so that's how i got all of these i paid i i'm, just, I'm trying to think it might have been around 30 dollars because i did bid against some people for it i think it started around 20 um but there's actually more stuff from this lot but for now i'm gonna deliver uh, some you want them yeah here's empoleon blaziken inferno yeah okay i think monferno is that the second one yeah um may is that her official name in the game too yeah yeah um, there's Prinplup, Piplup, and Turtwig, Dawn, but that's not, that's not the Platinum Dawn though, I assume there is one. I, we got another May, and then Altaria I'm very excited about, that's a cool one. There you go. Alrighty, moving on, I don't know what is in here. Oh, I do. Oh my god. So I have no context for this doll. I was just searching for Lika Chan dolls because I wanted to show you guys more Lika Chan because I only have like hashtag Lika dolls and vintage Lika dolls. So I wanted to fill in the gaps a little bit um, in my collection and also to show you guys. When I say I wanted to show them to you guys, that's my excuse. I also just wanted them for me, to be honest. Um, do you want some scissors? No, okay. Okay. And <laughs> this was just one of the most beautiful dolls I've ever seen in my entire life. So I had to get her. I was just so en enchanted by her. And she kept ending. I think she ended at like 3 a.m., which normally Japanese auctions, by the way, Japanese auctions generally end around 6 a.m. Like 5 to 7 is your sweet spot. So you're going to be waking up early if you're bidding on stuff. But a lot of stuff is buy it now at good prices. So you don't have to worry about it. Um, but this doll kept ending at like 3 a.m. So I'm usually, I'm usually up, but I'm not focused on bidding on stuff at that time. So um i kept missing her but she kept not selling so she was lego just went behind me yeah. she kept getting relisted but look at this doll i ha i she's so look at her like check out her dress how cute is that oh it's a two-piece i didn't even realize yeah so it was just this like really not great picture of her just laying down on a table but i was like this is one of the most beautiful dolls i've ever seen like look at this it's a pleather like color blocked out it's not color blocking if it's one color right just checkerboard outfit this amazing coat with oh it's got hearts all over it i'm really curious what the purpose of this doll is she has to be like an adult collector doll right she's stunning and then she actually has a ton of really cool accessories which are why i think that she's not playline so oh my god i didn't realize they're fabric thigh high boots with platforms what <laughs> oh my god okay and then okay so it says this is a natural body from 2000 this might just be like the card is copyright 2000 i'm not sure and then i don't know what this is is it like a collar for her i don't know oh my gosh is this she sticks her little hands in here when it's cold out i think that's what this is let me see oh no is this a purse okay this is a purse i was thinking it's one of those things that you put your little hands in um but it's a little backpack and the the straps are peeling is she really from 2000 she's like amazing she looks very modern to me but i don't know and then she comes with a stand as well and this is a pretty good stand i don't mind this type of stand and yeah so i i was like absolutely in, like in shock and awe over this doll i had to get her so i'm really glad she didn't sell because i had missed out on her so many times and i i've done a video review of a jenny doll with the natural oh this is a jenny doll i i was totally just ignoring that i was like it's a Liga doll it was listed as a Liga to be fair um okay so this is a jenny doll i've done a review of a jenny doll with this body and i'll link it in the description so that you guys can see it it is such a cool body it's like you can't see any joints on the body 
they're all like wires and it works super well and the posability is so so good and i have a video like showing off that completely so i will link that in the description for you guys because i'm not going to do that in full detail in this video um but if you'd like to see like a video review of more jenny dolls let me know because i do have more of them and i just got this one all right so what is this uh, so i think this is for brett but i'll show you guys um these are just presents that i bought for him these are these really cute older pikachus they're from the full color stadium line uh, and they're pretty old. So I bought these because I was buying this lot of Pikmin stuff that you'll see later. Oh my god. It's it's a holy grail for me, but it's the silliest thing. But anyway, it's all these older style chubbier Pikachus, but like in different things. Like, so this one has the little boxing gloves on, which was in the anime, right? The yeah. little boxing gloves. And yeah, there's like sorry. a sleepy one. They're really cool. And like, yeah. So it's just all sorts of different Pikachu poses. And I thought Brett would like it. They're all in these little bases. So you can like put them together. Just really cool. Oh! There's one holding up amulet coins. Yeah, this this was cool. So here you go. Alrighty. So um, if this is a really cool tip for you guys, by the way, if you find a seller that has something you like, click to see their other items, especially if it's a bid lot or or even if it's a buy now. Honestly, buy now is probably more likely. Um, but generally, they're gonna have other stuff that you're gonna be interested in. So I highly recommend you do that. Okay, this. It's amazing. This is like the ultimate doll outfit. Oh my god. So they fashion packs are a little bit difficult to search for and I'll provide you with the search term that I use in the description to find fashion packs. But the best way to find fashion packs if you're trying to like really find the good ones is unfortunately to just search for a doll like Jenny doll or Lika doll and just scroll. But I do have a like search term that works for these and I'll link it in the description for you guys to use. Any links in the description, by the way, will be affiliated links. It's an affiliate code. If you sign up using my link, it supports the channel and supports making more videos like this. And also I will continue to provide you guys with really good search terms that you guys can use because um, I can send you the direct. I bookmark all my search terms that I like to use and I have over a hundred of them. So, <laughs> and I search them relatively often too, every single one. So I will provide you with a lot of those. Anyway, so this is Harajuku Girls School by Takara Tomy. I thought this was for Lika, but is this its own line of like Lika Chan style dolls? I have no idea, but it looks like this was its own line. But anyway, look how cute this is. So the dress is cute, but it's not like anything particularly special, but it's the little headband and the little like warmers and the little paws and like, oh my God, I'm seeing the back of this box. Look at all these outfits. Ah! Oh, wow. So there's different themes. Okay, I see what's going on. So this is from the Harajuku Girls School theme, it looks like. But then there's also like, oh, never mind, I see. Harajuku Girls School is the line, and then Animal Fever is a line within. So there's a rabbit and a cat in this line. The rabbit's really cute, too. I actually have a really cute rabbit outfit in here, I'm pretty sure. Um, it might be in the next box coming, I'm not sure. We'll see if we see it in here. But anyway, what year is this from? Because it's divine. Like, it's amazing. I managed to find it on Amazon Japan, but it was pretty expensive. I, I paid, I think, $20 for this just because I was watching it for days and I couldn't get it out of my head. And finally, I was like, you know what? I need to just buy it. Like, I really want it. Um, and that's to keep you from buying too much stuff. That's good advice is put it in your cart and just see if after a couple of days you still want it. Because that makes me, like, lose about 50% of the things that I would have bought on the spot. Um, okay, these are cool. I didn't realize they were this small, though. I couldn't find a lot of info about these online, but I thought Brett would enjoy them because he loves specifically like Gen 1, Gen 2 cusp era stuff. And Pichu is his favorite Pokemon. Look at these. So these from a different time for sure. You put them on the antenna of your smartphone. Or, oh my God, I said smartphone. Flip phone. You put them, flip phones used to have antenna, by the way. Um, well, these weren't flip phones, were they? They were just like the little handheld like brick phone that had the antenna, like a Nokia. Um, my first phone was a flip phone. Was yours? No, you didn't get a phone until way later. I had like a Blackberry like swipe thing. Oh, wow. Mine was a Motorola something and you it know was purple. What I'm talking about where it yeah. slides out and it has a keyboard underneath. My mom had the first Google phone that had that. That was like the big clunky like slide out and it, and it had the orange. full keyboard. It was very ugly. <laughs> I had a I had an orange one. Phone. I had an, my first uh, touchscreen was a orange hideous orange and red. I still have it. Um anyway, these they're in perfect condition. Look how cute and tiny these are. But you basically put them on your little antenna and they're supposed to glow. I thought they were way larger than this, but this is really cute. Anyway, there you go. I won't throw them this time. I will place them near you. There you go. <laughs> they're really cool. So I just thought that was really fun merch and I couldn't find a lot of info about them online. The, the tip will light up. So this catches yeah, the light. Yeah, it's really cute. I thought it was really cool. 
And then these are also for Brett. You making out like a bandit today. These are Tombow. What game is this for? That's Sonic CD. Sonic CD pencils. I don't know if Brett likes pencils as much as I do, but merchandised pencils from 1993 from another country still sealed in the packaging. Yeah. That has the starters. Yeah, I yeah, saw those. Cool. <laughs> I, was it the one we found online Suicune or something? What was the one? Uh, or no, I think it was Gen 3. I don't remember. Um, okay, moving on. This is... Okay, she's so cute. So this is a little itty bitty friend. So this is a doll line. I do have a doll from this already. So these are called like Pico Nemo Little Fairy, I think. And they're just the cutest little things. So Pico Nemo is similar to Pure Nemo, if you've heard me talk about those before, but they're just smaller. And their bodies are like really unusual. Like they have huge hands, but they're just the cutest little dolls. And Little Fairy is like a line of them that I really like. Usually Pico Nemos will be like, um, like an adjacent to a Pure Nemo, but these are their own thing. So yeah, Little Fairies are really cute. I used to be able to find these like last year. I would find them like early last year. I would be able to find these for like $20 each or less. And now they're up to like 40 each. So they're pretty hard to find for good prices. I paid under 40 for her, but she doesn't have her shoes. I think I paid around $30 for this doll. I super like these. They're really high quality. The bodies are really nice. The clothing is phenomenal. And I just wanted another one to go with the one that I currently have. And I was shopping for them to buy one for my friend. So that's where this one came from too. <laughs> uh, so that's my new little fairy baby. And then what is in here? There's so many exciting things. There are so many things in this box. This is a relative, okay, oh my God. This is a relatively small box for me. Okay, so this is a Pikmin thing, but we're going to ignore it for now. Okay, wait, I'll show you. It's way smaller than I thought it was, though. Um, this was something included with one of my, like, holiest grails of all of things. So I think this is meant to hold up, like, a little tiny note card, like, to put on your desk so that you can see it. It has a yellow Pikmin on it. It's for Pikmin 3, probably. I don't know. It's really cute. But this isn't why I bought the lot. I learned that this existed a couple years ago and I was like, I'm going to die if I don't get my hands on this thing. Like, and I knew it was one of those things that like nobody would ever sell because nobody would ever just want to buy it on eBay. It's one of those things that you would buy if you went to the Nintendo store or wherever they sold it. And you would be like, that's neat. And then shove it in a drawer, you know? So I didn't think I would ever find this. And then it just mysteriously showed up and I wasn't even searching for it. I was just searching for Pikmin stuff. These are the Pikmin Silly Bands. If you were around when I was a kid, like alive, you'll know that this these um, shaped rubber bands took the world by storm. And these are Pikmin ones. I have absolutely no idea when these came out, but I discovered them on like, I think I discovered them on like a Chinese website. And I was like, um, so yeah, so you get the yellow Pikmin, the red Pikmin, and the blue Pikmin, and they're all flowers. But like, I had to have it. I love merchandise like this that's just so ridiculous and like why does this exist it doesn't need to and the type of thing that like nobody stops to think to catalog because it's so absurd um but most Japanese merchandise gets um cataloged really well at least but like Brett like right on a scale of one to ten the Pikmin silly bands they're not silly band branded huh they're kind of squished so it's hard to tell what they are uh, see them yeah. how cool is that I love it. I love it. I love it. I had to have them. So there's nine total. I'm not going to say how much I paid for this because it's embarrassing. <laughs> but like it was a bidding war. Like I actually paid a weirdly large amount for these. More than I paid for a lot of the dolls, if I'm going to be honest with you. But this was like a grail item for me. It is so ridiculous, but like I had to have it. And this was the pre like the reason that I bought the Pokemon stuff that I bought for Brett, the, the Pikachus and the Pichu, they were from the same seller. So they're things that I would not have found otherwise, but I liked this thing that the seller has. So I investigated and the seller had a lot of cool stuff. And I still follow that seller to see if they end up with other cool stuff, but they haven't yet. Anyway, funny enough, this is from that same seller. He had a lot of weird stuff, I guess. Um, like not weird, but like different stuff. So these are Precure little pouches. It's so funny when I buy something from Japan, I always picture it larger. Like, what would you picture a little vinyl pouch to be? <laughs> They're so cute and small. So these are for Max Heart. Pretty cute Max Heart. So we got Shiny Luminous and Cure Black and Cure White. And aren't these just precious? They're from 2005. They're in perfect condition. Like, they're still sealed in their little containers. They're precious. I think they're probably magazine bonuses because it says not for sale. But, like, these are cute. And I specifically really like this early Pretty Cure merch. I will... If it's Star Twinkle sold, I want it. Um, and then stuff from super early, I think, like, the aesthetic is really cool. And otherwise, I just collect here and there for Pretty Cure merchandise. Dolls, yes, I want them, no question. Um, but merch, like, there's so much merch. Pretty Cure is one of those lines where, like, 
the merch is like oh my god there's so much so anyway these were just very cute and i wanted them Alrighty, sorry i had to cut away that was that was a surprise for one of my friends the last thing okay and then we have this this is a bunch of stuff for brett but i'll show you it this is the same stuff from the lot with the scale you already built all the scale figures not much building at all. <laughs> um i'll show you the, i'll pan by them at the end of this video i'll show you them um but this is more pokemon merch and this all again came with the scale figures for around 30 35 dollars um so we got this cute towel which is that swirlix is that this guy's name yes i don't remember his name and i bought i love these because the chubby pikachu here we we both really love chubby pikachu and then this is like a whole merch line of like cute sweets pikachu stuff so this is cherubim hmm? cherub is Cherim? Is, is Cheruby the evolution, or is it the other way around? I swear there's one called Cherubim. I'm blanking on it's Pokemon. Cheruby sorry. and then Cherim. That's Cheruby, I think. Okay, the baby that becomes Cherim, <laughs> um, and then this. It's just really, really cute stuff. You, you're not a real Pokemon fan, bro. You don't even remember their names. Okay, anyway, um, we got Clear File. Oh, it's from Mr. Donut. How funny. Oh. Misto, um, merch. <laughs> Misto. <laughs> um, we got. <laughs> slow poke these are so cute and then this calendar oh it's 2023 you can use it babe it's just a ton of this merch from the same time period and it's just really cute you should put this up in the house somewhere it's cute here you go okay and then there's so much okay i think there's actually more from this lot that you guys are gonna see so buckle up this is in like a space bag i think i think this is just a really large towel yeah this is a towel beautiful look at that love that yeah it would work as a nice little tapestry or something all right but wait there's more it's all in a just a blank clear file ah these are the pokemon cards oh they're not in a sleeve that's okay i guess they don't really sell sleeves this big okay so Fred, little Mew sleeping with all the friends of the forest or never mind he's eating or he's sleeping next to a half-eaten is that an asper berry if i have that right you can't tell me that not knowing Cherubi's name is a problem. Or I knew Cherubi's or name. Or you... I said me. Okay. I didn't know. Is this Oricorio? It is Oricorio. Okay. <laughs> really off-model Lapras's, but very cute. The Galarian Moltres? Well, is it really stylized? Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, I guess so. Latias. These are really nice. Oh my god. And then a Ditto Numel. I always loved when I was a kid, they had the cards that were like ditto, but they were like cool figures of the cards. Those are spectacular. Here you go. The the files that you requested. And then it looks like these are the containers that these giant cards came in. Yeah, so these are the like, however you get them. I don't know. These are the, oh my God. You killed my guys. <laughs> Those are the things that the cards come in. Okay. Anyway, okay, so this is a present for my friend, but I already told them about it. And actually, I've bought two of these so far. I still need to get one for me, um, but I bought these for two of my friends so far. This is really cool, and I thought I would show you guys, because I already told my friends about the Christmas presents because the package was very late. Not because of... It, it was late because I was gathering more things to put in the package. Because you can... They'll hold your package for quite a long time it's over a month and then you can keep it longer they'll charge you a little bit of a fee per day but otherwise you don't get feed at all for them holding your package um but anyway this was one of the first things that i bought so it took over a month for me to actually order the package after that but anyway this is a cool brats doll so if you don't know what these are there were japanese exclusive brats well the packaging is japanese exclusive the doll is basically the same there are differences you'd have to check out my friend dom look in brats's website look at to see what the differences are um but i bought one of these for my friend dom and then i bought one for um another one of my friends and yeah well they have a youtube channel i bought them for brats the world both of them they have to fight over her um but actually funny enough it was both yasmin's i guess yasmin is the more common one um but it's just so cool the japanese packaging and like check that out it's just beautiful and the reason that it's so interesting to people is not only because it has japanese text on it because like it's cool to have language variant packaging but it's not that interesting but it's the fact that they're called cool brats instead of brats and they're official they're just uh distributed by takara i think it's takara it's tomi yeah spectacular love it um so anyway those are that's for my friends though you're not gonna see it on my shelf unless i find another one uh but now that i've told you guys about it maybe it'll be harder for me to find another one i have some competition um anyway so next what do we have oh my god okay so this is a relatively new fashion pack you can still get this on amazon i'm pretty sure this is a little bunny outfit and i think it's meant to be like an over piece like it's not meant to be like the main outfit but i could be wrong but it's so cute 
it is so cute it's kind of on the same realm as this for me it's just absurdly adorable so it's this like really precious fluffy dress with a bunny ear hood it even has a little bunny purse it's just spectacular it's just the cutest thing and i don't know when this came out but you can still get these on amazon i paid whatever the retail was for this um for it so not bad it was somewhere in like the 12 dollar, 14 dollar range precious precious but if you find something on amazon japan i generally don't buy it on amazon japan i'll find it on yahoo japan auctions because generally you can get it cheaper on there but sometimes it is cheaper on yahoo or on Amazon, it just depends. So um, I just check multiple sources because I have that power because Zen Market gives me that power and it's amazing. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how to search for some of the things that I showed you here today um, on Zen Market. So let's, this is the intermission. All right, my friends. So when you click the link in the description to the Zen Market landing page, it will bring you here. And this is a great place to start because it will give you a lot of information about Zen Market that would be important for you guys to make the decision if you want to use the website. And it also provides you with some links to different things that I thought you guys would be interested in. So Zen Market actually set this up for me. I just gave them a couple of the links that I use when I'm shopping for dolls and they put them on this page for you guys. I'll put some more in the description for you guys to use as well, which will also be affiliated links. But if you sign up using my link, it gives you guys a welcome bonus and it also benefits the channel, which will help make future videos, especially ones with Zen Market, which I would really appreciate. It would be really fun. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna open these in new tabs so that I can show you. So we're gonna search for some Pretty Cure dolls, some Sailor Moon dolls, and some Lika Chan dolls. And they this one defaults to Amazon Japan. So this right here says Precure Style in Japanese. I'm pretty sure that's what this one says anyway. It might just say Precure Doll, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know Japanese, I just have search terms that I continually use. Anyway, so you can see that we are shopping for Precure Style dolls now, and you can find some super cheap ones. So like this one is from Tropical Rouge for $13. You can see Cure Summer for $13 over there. Just super, super affordable. Uh, some of the characters will be a bit more expensive, but they're, these are actually pretty close to the original retail cost right now because the yen the japanese yen is down compared to the usd the dolls are cheaper than they usually are usually they retail for around 40 but because in relation to the usd they're down um they're actually closer to 30 um and you can see this is a pre-order you can pre-order on japan um, amazon japan and zen market does let you pre-order through them which is really nice i have a bunch of pre-orders up right now for some sailor moon dolls and we're gonna go to yahoo japan auctions by the way it will keep your search term which is super cool um zen market will automatically translate but i also have the google translate plugin just in case and this is very cool because not only can you participate in buy it now type auctions so yahoo japan is an auction website primarily but there are buy it now so you can see that this is a buy it now it gives you all the information that you need um so this is the original description it gives you some information it's very very useful and make sure that you check for postage if that's something you're worried about and i want to go to something that is bidding just to show you so this is a hug toe precure figure uh this one's blocked for bidding they will automatically block things that seem sketchy or sellers that they've had trouble with so that's what's going on there okay here's a pre pre-code doll or pre-cure doll they it's like pre-cure doru and it comes out as pre-cord when you search it like this when it translates uh, but anyway you can place bids in real time so i've been in a lot of bidding wars that i actually tell you guys about in this video but you can place bids in whatever amount you want i'm negative right now because of a shipping fee just so you know like i'll i'll pay that back but yeah you can go a little bit negative and then put more money in it'll be fine you pay a three dollar fee per item that you buy whether it's through amazon or yahoo japan or whatever so that's why i like to buy in lots because even if i buy a lot with 100 items it's a three three dollar shipping fee this is actually less three dollars right now but that's around three dollars or if i buy one keychain it's three dollars so i'd rather buy a lot of 100 keychains you know um and you can also leave delayed bids so it will leave five to six minutes because on japanese auction websites if you bid if you try to snipe bid which is when you bid in the last five minutes or the last five seconds it'll actually extend the amount of time that the auction is open for so this is meant to circumvent that so it'll place your bid automatically within five minutes i've won a ton of lots doing this and um, just because like if nobody else bids that's a really good way to grab your item and then here's some sailor moon dolls unfortunately they're very expensive on here um just because this is on amazon and they are pre-order only for these dolls but um you can also search on yahoo japan and you'll see that they're a little bit cheaper on here but yeah these you want to pre-order generally this is actually the limited edition one so i don't think this price is that bad this one was limited to a museum and then the sailor moon museum specifically and then you can see some leika chan dolls really cute little outfit you want to be careful like make sure you read the descriptions because this is an outfit specifically i'm pretty sure if that's the doll that's an amazing price um and you can see some play sets you can see all sorts of different dolls this is a doll i show you in the video look how cheap this i believe is an outfit 
because um, that doll is a separate doll in a different outfit usually. This is another like Lika's little sister. I don't remember her name. This is, I believe, an outfit. There's just lots of really, really cool. This is a whole doll, the hashtag Lika doll. And this is on Yahoo Shopping. So this is one option. And then you can also go to Amazon Japan and you just navigate up here. You can see different dolls on here. And they're just, they're very affordable considering like I'm I just love shopping for them. But yeah, you're going to want to go through, especially when you're newer at using the site, you're going to want to go through different options so that you can make sure you get the best prices. Uh, they just added Mercari, which is super exciting. I didn't get to buy anything on Mercari Japan using Zen Market yet, but I've used I've used Mercari Japan too a lot of times. You can find amazing deals on here. It's similar to Mercari US, but way more stuff is on the Japanese site and it's so affordable. You can find some super rare stuff for super cheap on here. Highly recommend looking at Mercari Japan. It is so, it is huge that Zen Market has this now because it was exclusively belonging to another website that I hate using, but I was forced to use it because they had the exclusive rights to Mercari. And now Amazon, or, um, Zen Market has access, so it's awesome. And then these are Yahoo Japan auctions. So you can see, this is where you're gonna be finding like vintage stuff, but you can also find relatively newer stuff. So Yume Miru, I believe is the like crystal princess, beautiful, doll line that I bought one from that I was blanking on the name of. Uh, but yeah, so you can see all sorts of different dolls. You can get amazing deals, amazing deals on Amazon Japan. I will be awake. So it tells you in Japan, generally, they seem to list things at night in their time. So um, it's kind of an awkward time for us, but you can see when stuff ends and there's some stuff ending in like an hour, but that's like 11 p.m. in the U.S. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's lots of really cool stuff to look through. Also a lot of doll clothes. This is a general search for just like good stuff in general, but yeah, that's it. So I'm going to provide you guys with some links so that you guys can play around on this site, but also just experimenting with different, just translate stuff. I'll provide you with the word for doll in the description because that's actually pretty difficult because there's like three or four different words for dolls, but only one consistently works. Um, so yeah, I hope this helped. Good luck. I hope you find something cool. There's a few things in here that are pull-up related and I love pull-up dolls and they are actually South Korean dolls, but in Japan, they're really, really popular. So you can get them for pretty good prices there. And I will put a search term for you guys to use to look for pull-ups in the description. And these are actually, I believe a Japanese specific like version of pull-ups, but I'm not sure. I just, they're of Japanese characters generally, but these are from Do Dokula is the line. So it's like doll collaboration. So Dokula, I don't know. Um, and they did a bunch of anime that were popular around this time. So this is from Squid Girl and it's a little doll. So these are like little pull-ups, but they're specific to being like collaborations. So these are really cool. I'm not even sure if they're actually, that says doll. So it is related to pull-up. I figured maybe they were just using the bodies for them, but yeah. So this is Squid Girl. Very cute. Unfortunately, they didn't give her like, it's just felt that's sewn to the hat. So if you take that off, she just doesn't have hair. But this is really cute. And I thought this would be really fun because Brett specifically really likes my pull-up dolls. And these are really cute. But, okay. I'm so excited about these. So these have been like, I knew that these existed. I didn't know that they were from this do doll cola line. So I never knew how to search for them. But as soon as I found this, I found these immediately. And I actually found them so good that I bought them twice. So... These are from a show that is titled Panty and Stocking. Um, just to be clear, that's the title because their names are that. Um, and I love this show. And it's actually getting a second season tune, which is really exciting. Um, so here is the character whose name is Panty. <laughs> um, here's her doll. And these are from the Do Dokola. I don't... Dokola. I don't know how, to, how I would pronounce that. Um, but anyway, so cute. She has a bunch of jewelry on. It's just so cute. It's like metal jewelry. Anyway, these are really, really nice. Little pull-ups aren't like the bastion of excellent quality or anything. Like they don't have great hair quality usually. Um, they can't really do a whole lot, but these are the only dolls that exist as like official this show dolls. So I had to have them. And this character, whose name I said earlier, <laughs> I don't want to say it too many times, um, is more common. So funny enough, I found this one first and I couldn't find this character, Stocking. I guess I get, st Stocking is less inflammatory. I can say Stocking. <laughs> um, but this one is way more common. So I bought this first and I paid like $10 for her inbox. So I was like, yo. Um, so I bought her. Now I'm going to be um, gifting her to a friend. So yeah. <laughs> um, and then I found this lot for $20 for both of them, which these retailed for much more than that, by the way. When I tell you a price, and I'm shocked at how low it was. It's because they probably retailed for way less than that, just so you know. 
or I just generally think it's a good price because even if you're paying above retail for something that came out like 10 years ago if it's around retail that's pretty good to me I don't know depending on the product uh so here's stocking she's the one that's much rarer because people like this character more this is my favorite character actually but this this one has the better character design and this is Brett's favorite character and she is super cute she does need washed like her her outfit is pretty stained but these ones wrap the stands kind of suck it didn't break it just popped off um oh there was a bronze on here or bronzer I got you excited because you like bronzer, huh? I like bronzer. There was a little bronzer. Here you go. It must have fallen out. Sorry, there was more Pokemon stuff. I just you gave it to Brett. <laughs> That's really cute. That's really high quality. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Do you like her? Yeah, she's cute. This is really, really cute. I really like the style of these. And I'll show you all these dolls up close in a little bit. All right. So now we're in new in box doll territory. So I bought a lot of dolls. <laughs> okay. So this one is the first one. This one you can get on Amazon pretty easily, but I got her on Yahoo Japan auctions because as you can see, she's been unboxed before. But this one is from this newer, like more recent line of Lika channels. And it's, I don't remember what it's called. It's called like Prince, Crystal Princess, something in that realm. But it's just this line of magical, like Ever After High-esque, like beautiful pastel shiny colors. I'm not saying Ever After High-esque because if they've invented that, but you know, like the types of plastic they're using remind me of Ever After High and some, not the specific doll, but some of the other ones. Um, but these are super high quality dolls. So I really wanted to get one. I think this is the only one I ended up getting, but I super want this Rapunzel themed one. They're all vaguely like fairy tale themed. So the one that I just got... I actually can't tell who she's supposed to be. Some of them are just princesses, but this one looks a lot like Disney Rapunzel. Like, a lot like Disney Rapunzel. Um, but they also have, like... Okay, wait. Let me show you. I'll do a video review of this doll, possibly, but let me just give you a preview. Oh, she's been super played with. I didn't clean her up. She'll probably just get a restoration video if I do a video for her at all. So, here she is. She's just really cute, and I got this for less than $10, and it's the whole doll. She has everything. Like, here's her accessories. And her little cat! I wanted the pets. That's You can find these out of box for pretty cheap, but I wanted the cats. And you gotta get them new in box to get the cats generally. Um, but isn't she so cute? So her This is a playline, like super playline doll, you know? But she's like super cute. And her shoes were in there. She Her hair is pretty messed up, but I can fix it. And yeah, just bought her. Thought she was very cute. And now for these ones that are new in box, they will most likely be getting video reviews or I'll open them in a bulk doll unboxing video. You'll see them on the channel soon. Okay, so this was very exciting. This is the first pull up doll that I've like bought specifically because Brett bought one last year, but we have not bought a pull up since then. And I have not specifically bought one since way before that actually. Um, but because I was searching on Yahoo Japan using Zen Market, I found this is Dal Ho Ho. I think that's which one this is. Why don't you have a name tag? I don't remember your name. I think that's what it was. Um, but I, I've, this doll has been on my radar for a while. She came out a while ago. But I just thought her design was so cute. And to preface this, pull-up dolls, dolls retail for less, but pull-ups retail for over $100 generally. Dolls, I think, are around $80, but I don't know what they are now because pull-up prices have gone up. I paid $30 for this doll, brand new sealed in box from a country that she didn't even come from. Like... I I don't even know what to say. So I was so excited to find this one. I grabbed her quick. There were other really good deals on pull-up dolls. I'm, I'm searching a lot. I have, I buy ones that I'm super connected to that I think are really, really cool or ones that are like specifically on my wish list. So I, my wish list is like three pull-up dolls long. Like there's very specific ones that I'm looking for. But then there's also like, if I see one and I'm like, that one's super cute and I see a good price, I'll grab them. Um, and this was one of those. She's just so cute. Her outfit is so fun. Her face is adorable. She has little hearts in her eyes. Precious, precious little baby. Enjoy our new pull-up dog red. So you're playing with your Pikachus. <laughs> okay, and then I also bought a bunch of stickers because I wanted to decorate my planner. <laughs> so I was hunting for stickers. But then, you know what I did? I bought stickers that I'm not gonna use. I bought stickers for my sticker collection of stickers that I can't use because they're collectible. <laughs> um, I did buy some that I can use, but these are some Love Live stickers and, okay. No, this is going to matter to like one of you if you've ever played the love live school idol festival game which is about to end actually there's this one specific side character who i'm like obsessed with who actually showed up in the anime for like two frames i think she was fully animated in a couple um but 
there's this so there it's a, it's like a card game basically and you use the cards as like in your rhythm game thing they are used but there's normal cards and they're not characters that are they have names and they have like personalities and they have like little stories kind of but they're not really fleshed out they're just there and the, and one of the characters just has a chameleon and there's no real context for it she just has a chameleon uh so yeah there she is this is like there's like no official merchandise with her on it that i know of but i found this just searching for love live stickers and i was like oh, it's her her name is fumi by the way she's my favorite uh before my account was gone she was my image girl like my favorite girl there's also one that just looks exactly like homura from um Paula magi madoka magica and i love her too i'm not seeing her here probably because she's in an outfit that i'm not used to but yeah and then some of these girls were actually upgraded and became part of the anime like main characters in the anime but i don't think it's any of these ones i think these this merch was made after but this was really cool like i was not expecting merch of them because again they're just random designs that they just made to fill space and then we have the uh, this is probably from the thanksgiving festival that they do um just really cute cheer art this is a postcard aqua aqua's amazing favorite group another one i think this is a sticker like a giant sticker or something and then the this is just a large sticker with aqua on it as well um but i bought the lot for this if i could have a shrine to the chameleon girl i would but they don't make merch of her it's just like star twinkle precure i would have a shrine to that cyclops character but there's not even a clear file i don't even get a sticker with her on it that i know of if anybody knows of anything like that let me know um anyway so here's some more stickers that i bought these are actually for use because um some of them are doubles of stickers i already have all right, so these are my new Precure stickers. And the specific reason I bought them, by the way, are these, these like beach stickers. I love this. They're so cute. Their little swimsuits are so cute and the colors of these are so fun. So I, and I already have one of these sheets, but I wanted one that I could use and now I have two. And then I got some, and only a few a la mode stickers, Kira Kira Precure a la mode, but they're very, very cute. And then we have some hug toe. This is actually not used at all. So that's pretty cool. And then we have Star Twinkle, which is my favorite season, Star Twinkle again. So um, if there's a lot with Star Twinkle stuff in it, be careful bidding on it. I might be bidding on it. <laughs> um, ridiculously cheap. That was like a dollar for all of that. And then this. I found this searching for Star Twinkle stuff as I do. I'm very picky with Precure merch, like, um, cause again, there's a lot of it. If it's like toilet paper, I want it. I do have pretty cure toilet paper. I, I really do. Um, and then, uh, things like this, I'm all over. So I couldn't figure out what this was. It said it was boxes, but it looked like a flat box to me. So I think these are like little Tupperware containers that are Star Twinkle. Like, I don't know, but I loved it. I was like, this is really cool. And it's this really neat box set thing. And I, I did some like sleuthing to figure this out because um, I just Google searched for the title and then tried to find a, because I could find lots of pictures that showed this and said it was a box, but I was like, what, what are the boxes? Like, what are they for? What is their shape? Um, and I managed to find like a Japan Mercari. Mercari is a thing in Japan too, by the way. I think it started there to be honest with you. Um, but I found a Mercari Japan listing of this used. So they were out of the box and I was like, aha, now I get to know what they look like. Um, so sometimes you have to do that because translating, like, I was like, what do you mean box? Like, are they cardboard boxes? Are you implying that it comes in a box? Anyway, they're these really cute heart-shaped little Tupperware containers. So we got Cure Star and Cure Milky. I'm prob I'm not keeping the box probably. Well, the box is cute, but I'm not going to keep it. Um, we got Elena and Madoka here. Cure Cosmo all alone. <laughs> and then we have the whole group here just really really cute i just i just love those and merch like that specifically yes please like if if you've seen my other videos where i open these boxes i'll be like look at this candy container for pre -cur i just i love it okay this is from the same person as the pikmin silly bands i actually got into quite a bidding war on these as well they didn't go very high i think i paid like 20 bucks for this um, these are little swings, like little phone charms or whatever you would want to put your swings on. They're called swing figures generally. And they're all Pikmin ones. So I wanted this because there are bulb men, which are bulb word Pikmin from Pikmin 2 if you haven't played it. I love them. And then there's a bulb man here and then the president, the president, the president. <laughs> there's some doubles in here, but, uh, there's Louie with a white Pikmin. Did these presidents not have anything? Yeah, they didn't. Um, here's Olimar, a blue Pikmin. And I really like that Olimar has like a really nice see-through little antenna there. That's really cute. And then another Olimar with blue Pikmin. And then just a red Pikmin. 
And these are actually Pikmin 2 merch, which I didn't realize. I mean, I should have assumed because the president was in here, but the, the tag specifically says Pikmin 2. So those were made for me. Thank you. And when there's a double, that means I could actually utilize them. Like I could put one on my 3DS and not worry about destroying it because those things get destroyed so quick. It's so frustrating. Alrighty. Then within this, there is a doll from Precure Style that I have been looking for since I started collecting them. And this doll specifically for some reason is expensive. Like I can't find her. It's really annoying. Most of the Precure Style dolls are very cheap, but I'm missing one. I'm pretty sure now, just one. I need to double check, but I'm pretty sure I'm just missing one. And <laughs> so Cure Grace, this will be a gift for one of my friends. Like I have Cure Grace, that's fine. But this, I paid $15 for this, finally. This specific character is like $50 on her own for some reason. And these dolls do retail for like $35, $40, so it's not that bad. But I want to pay less, especially if they're used. This is Cure Earth. I super like Cure Earth and Cure Fontaine. Fontaine's the one that I'm missing right now. Uh, but, oh, I'm also missing a Twal, actually, so I'm still missing two. Um, but I really wanted Cure Earth. I think she's so pretty, and she's so weirdly expensive for some reason. But yeah, Fontaine is like weirdly hard to find too, but like look at this doll. I love the art style in um, Healing Good in particular as well, but like look at her. So pretty. And I'll show you these in much better details in a minute. Uh, but isn't she so cute? And I love the hair type that Precure Style Dolls use. And I will give you guys the search terms for Precure Style Dolls. Also, the landing page that's in market created just for you guys to use will take you straight to Amazon Japan for Precure Style Dolls, which generally has fantastic prices for them. But sometimes um, it's better to go on Yahoo Japan. Generally, it's better to go on Yahoo Japan because you'll find them brand new in box for like $10. And these dolls retailed for triple that, if not more. So yeah, I, I'm just so excited that I found her finally because I was being very, uh, like, I'm not paying more than, like, $20 for her. And I finally got her. And a bonus. So one of my friends is going to be happy. Um, and I got Cure Earth, which I'm so excited about. Isn't she gorgeous? So, yeah. Yay! Alrighty. And now I'm very excited because these were the prerequisite for me watching the new season of Precure. I haven't watched it yet. So these are for Hero Garu Sky. I'm gonna have to watch the show to see how to pronounce it. Uh, but I wanted my dolls to come first so that I could watch it with them. So I'm really excited. So I got Cure Prism and Cure Sky. So expect a video of these probably the next couple of days um, after I binge watch the amount of the show that's already released. But these I actually pre-ordered on Amazon Japan. So um, I paid the full retail cost, but you already probably can get them cheaper than that because generally they are really, really affordable, like the Precure Style dolls. But okay, so here's Cure Prism and the art style is just beautiful. And they actually have a 20th anniversary little tag right here on the box. And they're just so cute. So they've only released the two dolls so far. And pretty soon, actually, you guys can pre-order them. They are doing Cure Black and Cure White Precure Style dolls. And there are Precure Style dolls for Cure Black and Cure White, but they don't match the current ones super well because those dolls are from when <laughs> that show came out. And um, so now you can get like brand new looking ones, sorry, for the 20th anniversary. And they look amazing. The pre-orders, I mean, you could, they're probably going to be like relatively easy to order, but they come out, I think early March. I'm not sure. Um, but I already have them on pre-order, so they'll be here soon. But anyway, yeah, I love these. I'm so excited. Uh, this season looks really, really good. I've been trying my best to avoid all tweets about them so that I won't be spoiled on anything. So I'm going to go in blind, but so cute. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for these. Zen Market can help you, and the link in the description will bring you right to them. Alrighty, and then, you know I had to get some more hashtag Lika dolls, so I got WeGo, hashtag WeGo, which is in reference to a store of some sort in Japan. I don't know what the reference is, but I know it's cute. Yeah, I'm pretty embarrassed that I didn't know what Pop Teen was, but you guys knew immediately. Uh, but they do a lot of these collabs with Hashtag Lika. I love Hashtag Lika. So you can see she has the cutest style and I really love her hair color. It's very unusual. Uh, I really want a rainbow high doll with that hair color. And she just very pretty. She comes with little shopping bags for the store. How cute is that? This line, I've done reviews on them. I'll link them in the description, like other dolls from this line. I love this line of dolls. They're kind of, for a $40 doll, they're kind of not worth that price unless you're buying them because you like the designs. Um, if you're buying for the actual quality of the doll, there's only a few that I would say, yeah, they're worth that. Um, but you can actually get these super cheap. So both of these I paid 15 each for. And this one, I think both of them actually came out pretty recently. And then this is Rockabilly Cherry. So this one has like a Rockabilly theme. Gee, I wonder how we would guess that. Um, and super, super cute. So let's get her out of here. So this is another one that came out relatively recently because on the back of the box it's showing Yui Yui. Um really cute so hopefully she comes with that burger because it, it's really cute 
Oh, she does. She comes with burger, fries, a little tray, I guess a little like tissue paper, little sunglasses, and the cutest little shoes ever. And her outfit actually looks super high quality compared to some of the others. Although most of the decorative stitching is printed on, but some of it is sewn on. That is such a, that is unusual actually, um, but cute. I really love hashtag Lika dolls. I think they're really nice. They are pretty overpriced, but again, if, if you see them on Amazon Japan, you're like, I'm not paying $40, go on Yahoo Japan auctions, keep scrolling. You'll probably find them for good prices. But unfortunately, hashtags don't work in search bars generally so it's actually pretty hard to find them some sellers will call them hashtag like the word hashtag lika but most do not so it's kind of hard to find these sometimes and they also go by 17 lika but generally i don't see people list them as that so um i will put the search term that i generally use for these in the description so that you guys can use it but just so you know it might not work <laughs> just so you know Alrighty, and then okay i'll show you these these are clear files from love live and i bought these because i've actually been watching this exact lot of these clear files for probably a year <laughs> and these are like one of my favorite artists of all time is uh the twitter handle kyoguno suke i don't know how to pronounce it correctly i'm sorry i'm from texas i'm gonna pronounce everything with a weird drawl um but these are like breathtaking so these are it's just beautiful clear files of the artwork. I've been trying to collect every single merchandise piece with this artwork on it for Love Live, but it's actually kind of hard to find a lot of it because it, it was all exclusive to like these pop-up markets. So I've been trying though, and I have quite a bit of it. And then there's this one, which I do already have this one, um, but it came in the lot. This one I really wanted. I have all of these keychains, but one, I think I'm, I'm missing Yo. I think that's the only one I'm missing. Um, <laughs> really want to complete this set but it's really hard because what do you search unless one of the people who's selling it happens to know who the artist was because I search his name all the time um but yeah it's a struggle <laughs> and then here's another this one's at night this time just so cute these ones are for the movie I think super super cute love it love it love it yes and um unfortunately only he did artwork for like he does fan art for love live all the time so you could see his art um, of other characters but only aqua got merch from him which is such a shame i hope they do more someday there's also some hatsune miku figures that are in his art style oh my god i want them so bad they're so beautiful they're not expensive or anything i just need to hurry up and buy them he also does pokemon card art i just love his art style all right the last dolls okay so this one i'm was a little behind uh but i got cure finale finally i've been being asked a lot when i was gonna get cure finale I got her. I was just um, being a little slow. I But I did get her for $20 instead of the retail, which is, I think, $36 or something. So yay, I win. Uh, but yeah, you can get her on Amazon for pretty cheap now, I think. But I don't remember if I got her on Yahoo Japan or Amazon, but I know I paid under $30. So yay, score. Um, but yeah, cool. Now I've completed Delicious Party. <laughs> and then we have this doll who is rabbit themed. So I thought I would either give her the rabbit outfit or something i don't know um but i just thought she was very cute and i wanted to review some modern lika chan dolls because generally i'm i go for the like jenny era even the lika dolls that came out around that time because i just really like the style of them they remind me of you know dolls from my childhood because that is the years of my childhood um and their style is just really cool so this is a lika chan doll it looks like her number was seven for i think they they come in certain like batches of release so this is the seventh one from whatever era this would be uh but i just found this one really cute she's just this like really sweet little like cottage core watch someone's gonna be like that is not cottage core you watch your mouth you don't know what that even is right i could see her being in a field, <laughs> in a field. <laughs> like it, in a field there's a cottage behind her i don't know um but she's really cute is my point very very cute uh and she comes with a rabbit and a little hat all right, I'm gonna turn the camera around now so that I can give you guys a closer look at everything. The reason I don't bring everything close to the camera in this part is because it looks like that. Anyway. <laughs> All right, y'all, I've switched to this so that you guys can actually see the things. So I wanted to show you Fumi. Mwah. You see her little chameleon? So stinking cute. And then my stickers, very, very cute. You can get stickers super cheap. Cause in Japan, I don't, I wish that places did this more here, but like sometimes you just go to a store on a certain day and they'll be like, here's a bunch of sticker sheets and a postcard and a clear file for free or like as a purchase bonus. And it'll be like a convenience store. That's really cool. They don't do that here. <laughs> Generally, I've, I, I'm sure they've done it before, but not often. And then here's some Pretty Cure Max Heart merch. And then we have these really cute little food boxes or whatever you want to use them for. Cure Finale. That is not a not confetti, by the way. It gets everywhere, <laughs> no matter how many times I vacuum. Okay, and then there's, 
Hashtag Lika. I should have thought that through and opened these first, but there they are. Super, super cute. I love that one in particular. And then this girly who needs some work, but she'll be fine. I'm really curious what the hair fiber is. I'll wash it so that I can investigate because generally like the hashtag Lika's all have what I think is saran or maybe nylon. I don't know. And then we have our Dokola, Dokola dolls. And th the reason I can't pronounce this is because I don't know what sound to make for the sec the first O and the second O. Um, oh, and there's our cool brats doll. Sitting with my brats. She's so close, but she's going somewhere else. And then our Harajuku girls school costume. Our Cure Prism, Cure Sky. Cure Grace, Cure Earth. Little Fairy, got some Pikmin. Of course this. I'm so, I'm, I just don't know how to convey to you how excited I am about this. Truly out of everything in this box, this was one of the most expensive things. It was these two probably. <laughs> oh my God, okay. And then the beautiful doll clothing. Just This is so incredible. And I really love even this like playline clothes that I got. If, I assume these are playline, I guess they could might not be, but like so nice. These are the two like designer doll clothing. And then these are all the Playline ones. What I think is Playline anyway. And then these are the accessories for our Jenny doll. The Jenny doll is just incredible. Like, look at her. I just figured this was a relatively newer doll like Alika because she had, like, stuff like this on. But look at this outfit. I mean, this material is not used very much anymore. But, like, check that out. If I untie this bow, which will never look that cute again because I can't tie bows very well. Isn't that incredible? Unfortunately, it's made out of that peely material. And so are these. But they're not peeling yet. So that's a good sign. But, oh, my God, these are amazing. And then I'm not sure what this is. Maybe like a little hat. Yeah, maybe you put a pigtail through that heart. I'm not sure. I'll have to find out what this doll is. Unfortunately, this is the only context I have. But that tells me she's a Jenny, which I would not have been searching Jenny. So good to know. And then our little bunny friend and the cutest little bunny outfit in the whole world. I'm just so excited about this outfit. It's so cute. I, I was so... And the picture for that was just awful when I found it. Um, but I was like, oh my god, that is so cute. Um, and now let's switch to the Pokemon right, stuff. So here's a selection of our Pokemon stuff. So I didn't notice this. Brett noticed this. It's Oras and regular May. Not regular, but like the original. Isn't that cute? I just noticed that they were both May and moved on with my life. But that's really cute. I had a little Brendan when I was a kid, like the little figure they released for original Ruby and Sapphire. Probably still have him. Um, and then look how cute. So Brett said he was very surprised by how small Mudkip is and how big Skitty is. And I agree. I don't think Mudkip should be that small. And then, I mean, in the show, he's certainly not that small. Why is Marshtomp smaller than Skitty? Yeah. Skitty's a cat. Well, in the show, Marshtomp is, like, at least chest height for that people, right? a big cat. Yeah. I mean, that's about right for a cat. It's just that it is a big, fat head. And then Gardevoir is beautiful. Look at that. And these are really nice quality. These are candy figures. Did they have candy in there? They did have candy. So these are candy figures. So in Japan, they like to make, like, to, I guess they do this here too sometimes, but they'll put like a piece of gum in the box so that they can sell these like in the candy section. Um, so that's kind of how these work. Um, but they're actually really nice quality. I'm always really impressed by candy figures because you'd think, because they're like maybe $5, like they retail for a, like a very small amount. Um, you'd think they wouldn't be so nice, but they're actually like really well painted. The sculpts are always really nice. Like look at this Empoleon. Was Empoleon alone, or did he come with somebody else? He was alone. Oh, you didn't build the Piplup? Oh. Did I have a Piplup? Yeah, there was a box with Piplup in there. I miss a box? I might still have it. I'll give it to you. And then Monferno. I like the little stands, too. Very light resin. But, like, look at that. Light as in, like, it does not weigh much. And then Altaria. I think I opened all my boxes. Love Altaria. Oh, I'll, I'll find you the Piplup. Don't worry. There was a Piplup. And then... There's a really nice Blaziken as well. But anyway, these Pokemon Scale World figures, if you're interested in them, I'll put a link uh, so that you guys can find them. Uh, these are actually extremely cheap. I mean, there's certain sets, like the Johto sets were pretty hard to find. I was trying to get Brett some Johto sets. Um, but I mean, they're priced like about retail, but I want to pay less than retail. They're actually really affordable. And you can buy like the whole booster box of all of these for like weirdly cheap. I don't know. Anyway, I think my favorite thing that I got today, other than the Pikmin Silly Bands, it's, these are a different league. This is so, so cute. I'm dying over this. And look, it has like real snaps there for like so nice. But um, probably this Jenny doll. I'm just in love with her. And she was so affordable. I didn't even realize she was a Jenny doll. That's so funny. And then um, I'm super excited about the new Preaker dolls. I'm always really excited for the new Preaker season. And of course, I'm excited that I finally got Cure Finale because I was really hoping to get her. 
Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And let me know if you find some cool gems from Japan that you buy. Anyway, for all this time. Oh, and thank you so much again to Zenmarket for partnering with me um, on this. They didn't provide me with any money. I just have an affiliate code that you guys can use. Um, I'm really grateful. I absolutely love this proxy. I've been using them since like, what, 2018? Like a long, long time. And they've been my tried and true. I've only ever used one other, or I've used a couple of others. I've used... I, I sh I'm not going to say their names, but I've used other proxies and I've had nothing but bad experiences. The reason Zen Market is my favorite is not only because I've had really nice experiences, but they don't charge you to consolidate packages. I couldn't believe it, but one of the other proxies that I've used charges you to consolidate packages, which is the point of a proxy is to consolidate packages. Um, they charge you like quite a bit to do it. And then the shipping is always very affordable. They don't charge you extra to package the products unless you have very specific packaging requests. They do some really funny... Uh, <laughs> If you ask them to do something very specific, they'll do it. Like one time I bought a bunch of tea cans, but I didn't want to ship liquid because that's really expensive. So I asked them to please pour out all of the tea and they did it. They did it for me. <laughs> just really, they just really, they bend over backwards to help you. And they also respond pretty quickly in my experience. This is like a dream um, partnership for me because I, I love this company so much and I've been using them for years and years and years. Um, so I'm really excited to share them with you guys. And um, oh, and there's a $3 fee per item that you bought. So any of these items I bought, add $3 to it. That's what I paid. Um, and that's the only fee that you get on Zen Market that, like, generally, unless you're doing specific things, um, you pay $3. You can pay to get pictures of products. They don't send you a picture immediately when your product comes. You have to pay for them to do that. Otherwise, they inspect it. And if it's weird, they'll let you know. But otherwise, they don't do anything with that. Uh, but I've never had any big issues with that. And if there are issues, they will refund you and it's fine. Um, but the <laughs> they charge you $3 per item. So that's why... I I always say that I like to buy things in lots because if you buy a lot of individual cheap items, you're paying $3 per item plus the item cost, right? Uh, but then <laughs> if you buy like a lot of stuff, you've just gotten $100 worth of stuff plus a $3 fee and you only pay the $3 fee, right? Um, you also have to pay if you hold items for more days than they allow, you have to pay extra for that, but it's uh, 50 yen a day. So around like 40 cents a day. It's really not that much. And then per item per day, whatever's over your time. And then also you have to pay the shipping from the seller to your proxies. So pay attention to that because sometimes I'll buy something and the seller, whoever sold the item, it's not Zen Market's fault, will charge like $30 for shipping for some reason, 30 US dollars. And then I'm out $30 because I didn't pay attention. And sellers generally put the shipping cost in the description. So just pay attention to stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And again, thank you so much to Zen Market for working me with me on this. I am so excited. Okay, for all this time. All right. Bye. I forgot to show these to you, so <laughs> sorry. Okay, so these are the ones that I found at Primplup, who I can't stand, but Brett really likes Primplup for some reason. Okay, I hate the like teenage forms, except the the Gen two and the Gen one teenage forms are great, but other than that, I don't like them. Like the middle starter of those, like especially Marshomp is like egregious. I hate this guy. <laughs> look at look at woo. Marshomp, I think is the best of the line. There's something actually wrong with you for saying that. I love Swampert. Anyway, um, we got Turtwig, who's so small, and Piplup. And w what was your comment about Piplup, Brett? In the show, it's very annoying. <laughs> it's true. Okay, and then we got some Pikachus. So, Brett's not sure if this one goes to those, like, that set or what. But he's probably, like, using Swift or something, huh? Because most of them are using a move. Like, you can see that one's using double team. That's probably the best one, conceptually. That's really cute. Um, they're all, like, little Pikachu references of some sort. Now, who's your favorite? The slumped over guy. Does he remind you of somebody? Who? He looks like Ronaldo. He looks like Ronaldo. <laughs> or Cat. Yeah, Catch look at the feet. Dude, he's chunky. He's chunky! He's so flat. Oh, my God. They, they, they sculpted the chunk. Yeah, the chunk in his leg. He's so cute. He looks like a rotisserie. Oh, I love him. Oh my god. I think my favorite... So, is the one that's see-through and running quick attack, you think? I didn't look that closely at that. So, these are old enough that they might be from before the anime, so that's why, like, some of these depictions might be... No, because the boxing gloves one is from the anime. This one's from the anime, though. That's pretty crazy. The double team one's really I cool. I on that side because the double team gets in the way and I can't yeah. do it properly. They don't actually click together. They just kind of pull Yeah, kind of like a puzzle. Yeah. But then some of them will fly out when you... Yeah. What is this one? This one's holding something, but I can't tell. Some of them are just doing poses. Well, he has like a little circle in his hand, but I don't know what it is. And then this one's using like thunder or something. 
Anyway, forgot to show you the Pikachu, so I thought I should. Oh, and the pull of doll. The doll, if you will. Um, I thought I'd show you her. So she's super cute. So cute. This newer weight, like, run of pull of dolls is so precious. Like, but I haven't touched them because they're so expensive. And I also bought this lot of, like, Yoshka merch that I forgot to show you. Um, so, yeah. I really like this watch. Don't buy watches and clocks, by the way. Um, it can cause problems with customs, so be careful. So if you buy a lot because you wanted a clock like I did one time, it was a Star Twinkle Precure clock, don't do it. It's not worth it. Um, but <laughs> you can try, but sometimes customs will get mad at you. Um, I lost my Star Pe Twinkle Precure clock. It's why I don't have one to this day. But like, how cute is this? Customs didn't mind this one. Super cute. And then these. Anyway, yeah, that's it. I gotta figure out where all these girlies are going.